have very different leaves from the shade and into the sun. You know how we've been talking about that a little bit? Okay, this, this is a leaf down in the shade where practically there's no lobes at all. And they could be bigger, but the point, we're looking at just the, what the lobes do, okay? See, that's all filled in. This is like a mid-crown position. See it going, that's going in about halfway. And this is torn, but this is remnants of one up in the sun, and what's it doing? It's going in really deep. Okay, so that's shade, kind of middle, and sun, and they're all on the same tree. And if you click on your DVD, you can click through leaves, and it's one time interesting, and it also it's horrifying. It's like these are all from the same tree, but then if you see them all on the same tree, it's like, oh, well, yeah, oh, that see, makes it easy, right? Well, leaves are going to fall off, and we're going to get rid of the leaves because they're now gone. So there's clustering buds, and the black oak buds, here's four words you should write down. Huge, <laughs> tan, right, fuzzy, right, and they're angled. They're not round in cross-section. See the light catching on them? Yeah. Oh. They're pentagons. Here, I'll pa we'll pass one around and we'll pass that around. Roll this. You'll feel it. They're five-sided. So cool. huge, tan, fuzzy, angled. Again, that's like looking and learning a zebra. That is so bizarre looking, mm -hmm. these giant buds. The acorn is awesome in that. The cap, which is what you should learn. They, I think it looks like a thatched hut roof, <laughs> like leaves piled up, doesn't it? Looks like the roof on a hut. They're, the shingles are all even loose on the ends, right? Isn't that cool? So you pick this up off the ground, black oak, loose, thatched looking hut, <clears throat> little fronds, you know palm branches, whatever, just scaled down. This is like for your model railroad. If your train went through a little tropical village, you could make great little thatched hut roofs with that. I remember that. You really could. <laughs> yeah, you could probably write it up in Model Train Magazine or something. Because look at that. That's what they do. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you another thing. I don't have acorn caps. I can't see the buds. Like, well, as soon as you know it's not poison ivy, you can do anything you want to any plant, right? Or any poison, poison ivy. What you want to do is dig into the inner bark, and that would be getting into the phloem. And to do that, you don't want to start on top of a ridge. You want to pick a low spot where there's a crack or a split. And you put your knife in and do a little twirl. And you get the inner bark out, and it's orange. And you can always reach this, right? Okay. With the only one like that? Yeah. Right. Now the sad part is, is when we give it as a quiz, and I see people doing this. Oh, that ain't orange. Okay. <laughs> That's something else. Now you got to get into the living phloem material. And then if you're really into it, you can eat it. <laughs> Don't do it? No. <laughs> it's very, 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 very bitter.